In this video, we're going to cover Neo Geo Pocket emulation on the PC version of RetroArch. The Neo Geo Pocket's another interesting handheld, but yet again, one that could not compete against Nintendo's Game Boy lineup. So as such, it has become kind of an obscure little thing, but there are a number of cool SNK games on it, as well as third-party games, that make it really worth emulating even today. And thankfully, getting it set up is pretty straightforward and simple, so let's go ahead and dive in. To get started with Neo Geo Pocket and Pocket Color emulation on the PC version of RetroArch, you need to install the PC version of RetroArch if you have not done so already, so I will have links in the description below to my RetroArch setup guides. But follow along with either one, the standalone version or Steam version, get it set up, get it configured, then come back to this guide so that way you can follow along without having any issues. Now the only thing that we need for Neo Geo Pocket emulation is to source some Neo Geo Pocket games, so Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. This will cover both. So as always, you could use a hardware dumper to dump your physical cartridges, or you could resort to Google and find things that way. But as always, illegal download links will not be provided on this channel, so don't ask. But once you have your Neo Geo Pocket games sourced, just put them anywhere on your computer so you can access them within RetroArch. So for my demonstration purposes, I'm going to add them to my RetroArch demo folder under Games. There we go. Once your Neo Geo Pocket games are in place, just go ahead and boot into RetroArch and we will download our core to get them playable. So open up RetroArch wherever you installed it and launch into it. Now from the main menu, go to the online updater, core downloader, Press up on your keyboard or a controller to navigate to the SNK section here. And for this video, we are going to be using the Beetle Neo Pop Core. So just go ahead and press enter to get this downloaded. And once that has finished, you can back out to the main menu, head up to load content, and begin loading up your Neo Geo Pocket content. So. And after choosing a game, it should automatically load up. If your games happen to be in zip format, you might have to select the core manually, but you should be greeted by your Neo Geo Pocket games. I'm not personally a fan of that method, so what I'd like to do instead is use the desktop menu within RetroArch to create a games playlist. So to access the desktop menu, click on show desktop menu here or press F5 on your keyboard. Once the desktop menu has loaded, you could go ahead and right click in the content browser New playlist, type in SNK, space dash space, then Neo Geo Pocket, and now you'll have a new SNK Neo Geo Pocket playlist here on the left, complete with the console icon. Pretty cool. So now right click in the main box here, add folder, navigate to the directory where your games are stored, select the folder, core, Beetle Neo Pop. Database, SNK, Neo Geo Pocket, or Pocket Color. And now all of your Neo Geo Pocket games should be populating your playlist. If you want to make a separate playlist for your Neo Geo Pocket and Color games, you can do so. I'm just combining them for the sake of convenience for myself. But if you want to make the playlist prettier, you can right click on the Neo Geo Pocket playlist entry, tell it to download all thumbnails, and this playlist. And as long as your games are named according to what the database is looking for, it will populate the box arts automatically. So typically it is the game name followed by a region code. If for whatever reason your box arts don't automatically populate, you can manually add them in. All you need to do is find a box art in PNG format and drag them into the box art section here for the selected game. But once the playlist is made, just go ahead and close out of your desktop menu. Press F on the keyboard to make RetroArch full screen once again. And to get your new playlist entry to show up, just click on Restart RetroArch in the main menu. Now over on the left, there will be a new Neo Geo Pocket playlist entry with all of our games inside and box arts on the right if you included them. And then to play a game, all you need to do is select it and tell it to run. And there we go, Neo Geo Pocket Color games running on our PC through RetroArch. So very cool stuff. Great way to experience this handheld if you haven't done so before. But this being emulation, there are a couple of options that we can set within the Beetle Neopop core. So pressing F1 on your keyboard or a guide button on a controller will bring you into the RetroArt Quick Menu. From here, scroll down to Core Options. And our one and only option is to set our language for our emulation. So you could choose between English or Japanese. So set it as you want here. And that's going to do it for our core options in Beetle Neopop. 
But before we call this video, there is one more thing I want to discuss, and that is the use of shaders. So you can turn shaders on in this tab if you desire. Make sure you have downloaded them from the online updater, and then you can go into load and begin loading up different shader effects to enhance your emulation experience. So for handheld games like this, I typically tend to use an LCD grid effect. I can't remember which one I prefer for Neo Geo games in particular, but tried that one there we go but there we go so there is an lcd grid for my neo geo pocket emulation makes it a little more reminiscent of playing on an actual handheld screen but there's no such thing as a perfect shader shaders are all personal preference so just go through load up ones that you're interested or curious about until you find one that you really enjoy and once you find one just go back into the shader tab click on the save button and then save them as a core preset so that way every time you load up a Neo Geo Pocket game, that is the shader that will greet you. And that's going to do it as far as Neo Geo Pocket emulation on the PC version of Retroarch is concerned. Very straightforward and easy to get this one set up, not a lot to really mess with in the settings, and overall just a great way to experience the system. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video, I hope it helps you get your Neo Geo Pocket game emulation projects up and running to your liking. But here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like dislike button, just depending on how much you like this tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. I always have loads of content coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content to all of you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are the truest of champs, and we are so grateful for each and every one of you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.